So we're going to start by thinking about some of the concepts and theory that underlines uh, a lot of uses of the MIDA method, and particularly focusing on uh, ideas around intersectionality. And broadly speaking, there are uh, two kind of essential ingredients uh, that we want to think about when taking an intersectional approach. The first relates to heterogeneity. That is the idea that uh, we are produced, our identities are produced by more than just the sum of our characteristics, and those characteristics uh, produce particular inequalities. So we could imagine dividing up society. Uh, in this case, we've got three categories of uh, gender, two categories of ethnicity, uh, three categories of uh, socioeconomic position. Uh, and these combine uh, to categorize people in society into a number of different uh, groups or strata. And the differences between these groups are um, potentially what we're interested in. And those might be, in some cases, produced by uh, kind of simple inequalities, right? It might be that men are advantaged compared to women. It might be that white people are advantaged compared to minoritized ethnic groups. But it might also be that there are particular pockets of disadvantage, particular uh, disadvantaged groups as a result of a combination of these uh, identities. So perhaps uh, working class minoritized ethnic men are particularly disadvantaged, more so than the combination of their uh, characteristics might imply. The second dimension of intersectionality is social power. So this is the idea that some of what produces those inequalities is related to social processes and hierarchies. Um, and these social processes combine in often complex ways. So it may be that there is ageism and there is uh, racism that disadvantage minoritized groups, sexism that disadvantages women. Uh, but it might be that these combine in particular ways. For instance, it might be that black women in particular uh, experience disadvantage in a way that uh, as a result of a particular combination of sexism and racism. And taking that example, uh, let's have a think about uh, why this really matters. So let's think about uh, the graph on the right here. Uh, so we have uh, a situation where black women are particularly disadvantaged in comparison to black men, white women, and white men. Uh, so the key disadvantage here is that black women uh, are disadvantaged compared to the rest. Now, if we didn't take an intersectional approach, we might uh, look at this uh, situation and think, let's see if there is a effect of being black. Let's see if black people are disadvantaged. And let's see if women are disadvantaged. Okay, and we might think about doing that separately and, and we would find that, yes, on average, there is a disadvantage among black people and there is a disadvantage among women. But if we then combine those two back together, we would end up finding something like the graph on the left. Okay, we would find that uh, white women, we were assuming that white women are disadvantaged by being white. We'd be assuming that black men are disadvantaged by, uh, sorry, white women are disadvantaged by being women and black men are being disadvantaged by being black. But in fact, that's not true. In fact, the process that produces this disadvantage is one such that black women have a particular disadvantage and that actually black men and white women are not disadvantaged in this situation. So failing to understand this can lead to incorrect inference. It can lead to uh, us not fully understanding the nature of the inequalities that we uh, are identifying. Uh, and so it can mean that potentially things like policy analyses that uh, attempt to address these inequalities uh, can be a bit flawed. Now, intersectionality is often thought of something in the kind of domain of qualitative research, but it actually originated uh, in the work of Kimberly Crenshaw, or well, the term originated then, uh, in, in a kind of quantitative uh, domain along the lines of these sorts of graphs. So what we're going to be uh, looking at in, these, in this tutorial is thinking about how we might use different quantitative methods, in particular the MIDA model, uh, to uncover intersectional differences in society.